From a 90s teen heartthrob to an actor best known for playing a rumpled TV detective, here are some of your favorite Hallmark stars who have sadly passed away. Michael Kopsa became a well-known Hallmark star for his participation in movies like Valentine in the Vineyard, Love in Winterland, and Finding Father Christmas. However, many fans also remember Kopsa for his roles on popular shows like The X-Files and Smallville. In October 2022, Kopsa's wife shared the news of his death in a since-deleted Instagram post. She wrote in the caption, The great Michael Kopsa, my dear friend and the father of my child Nora, passed away October 23, 2022, of a brain tumor. He was an incredible state and screen actor, voice actor, carpenter, musician, and painter. Most importantly, he was a loving and richly present father. The Hallmark Channel also took to social media to pay tribute to Kopsa. In an Instagram post that included a photo of one of his many characters, the channel wrote, A friend and colleague to many, today we honor the legacy of Michael Kopsa, always in our hearts. Kirby Morrow was mostly known for his voice acting on Dragon Ball Z and Ninjago. However, he also appeared in various different Hallmark movies, including A Wish for Christmas and Murder, She Baked. Sadly, Kirby Morrow passed away in 2020. Morrow's father had died only a few days prior, so the actor's death was incredibly devastating to his already heartbroken family. In an interview with Global News, Morrow's brother Casey discussed how the actor had been struggling with depression. He told the outlet he didn't want anybody to know he was in pain because he didn't want anybody to feel that too. Kirby Morrow was 47. Houston K. Stevenson appeared on the Hallmark TV series Martha's Vineyard Mysteries, but he also had parts in the Disney movies Descendants 2 and Descendants 3. Sadly, Stevenson died on July 6, 2022, at the age of 27. His mother, Ronnie Stevenson, shared the news of his passing through her Instagram account, writing, Our lives will never be the same. The world lost the most beautiful human that has ever walked the face of this earth. I love you with every breath I take. Three days later, another statement was released through the same Instagram account. In the new post, Stevenson's family revealed that the actor had been part of an unexpected and tragic accident. The Instagram post read, On behalf of our entire family, we want to thank you for the tremendous outpouring of love, support, and prayers we have received from around the world. We ask for your continued prayers and for the privacy of our family as we navigate through this most difficult time. While speaking to The Morning Show about his time on Beverly Hills 90210, Luke Perry had this to say, I don't think any of us had any idea what was going to happen with it and how long the impact of it would last. The show's impact was definitely massive as Beverly Hills 90210 grew to become one of the most popular teen dramas of the 1990s. I just don't believe in winning through intimidation. Unless of course I'm doing the intimidating. While Perry will forever be remembered for playing Dylan McKay on the show, the actor did go on to have a very successful career after Beverly Hills 90210 ended. Most people may not know this, but Perry actually spent a big part of his career working for the Hallmark Channel. The late actor appeared in movies such as A Gunfighter's Pledge and Good Night for Justice, among other films. A week before his passing, TMZ reported that Perry was hospitalized due to a massive stroke. Then, on March 4, 2019, Perry's team revealed that the actor had passed away at St. Joseph's Hospital in Burbank, California. When the news of Perry's death was announced, Hallmark posted a tribute on Instagram that read, We were saddened to learn of Luke Perry's passing earlier today. We are proud to have worked with Luke on Love in Paradise and wish to extend the thoughts of everyone at Hallmark Channel to his loved ones during this difficult time. Anne Heche may be best known for her roles in big-budget films like Donnie Brasco and Wag the Dog, but she also appeared in numerous Hallmark Christmas movies. Some of the films she starred in included Looks Like Christmas, Silver Bells, and One Christmas Eve. In August of 2022, Anne Heche was in a horrific accident when the car she was driving collided into a Los Angeles home. Shortly after impact, Heche's car set on fire. When the news of the crash was announced, Michael McConnell, a representative of Heche, told Reuters, At this time, she is in extreme critical condition and has significant pulmonary injury requiring mechanical ventilation and burns that require surgical intervention. A few days after the accident, on August 11, 2022, Heche passed away. Her sons shared the news in an exclusive statement with People that read, in part, My brother Atlas and I lost our mom. After six days of almost unbelievable emotional swings, I am left with a deep, wordless sadness. Hopefully my mom is free from pain and beginning to explore what I like to imagine as her eternal freedom. Most people will remember Doris Roberts for her role as Marie Barone on the popular sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond. It's just that it sounds like you're becoming just like your father. <laughs> 
However, this Emmy Award winner also appeared in several Hallmark movies throughout her career, among them Mrs. Miracle and Call Me Mrs. Miracle. In 2016, at the age of 90, Roberts died in her home in Los Angeles. Patricia Heaton, who played her daughter-in-law on Everybody Loves Raymond, was one of the first ones to comment on the news, writing on Twitter, she was funny and tough and loved life, living it to the fullest. It truly was a privilege, Doris. I love you and miss you. According to a statement shared by Los Angeles Times, Ray Romano, who played her son on Everybody Loves Raymond said, Doris Roberts had an energy and a spirit that amazed me. Whether working professionally or with her many charities, or just nurturing and mentoring a young green comic trying to make it as an actor, she did it all with such a grand love for life and people, and I will miss her dearly. Peter Falk was best known for playing the rumpled detective Columbo on the long running crime series. One more thing. Gee, I almost forgot what I came here to ask you. In addition to playing the canny detective, Falk also appeared in several Hallmark movies throughout his career. Falk played the same character called Max in the films Finding John Christmas, When Angels Come to Town, and A Town Without Christmas. Sadly, in 2011, Falk passed away at the age of 83 after battling dementia and Alzheimer's. Gina Rollins, who played Falk's wife in the Oscar-nominated film A Woman Under the Influence, shared a statement with Los Angeles Times that read, "'Today we lost someone who was very special and dear to my heart, not only a wonderful actor, but a very great friend.'" Marta Dubois was a Panamanian actor who found success in the United States. Her first project was in 1979, and it was called Boulevard Nights. After that, she went on to appear in several well-known TV shows, such as Law & Order LA, The King of Queens, and Star Trek The Next Generation. Dubois also appeared in several Hallmark movies, playing the character Sergeant Roberta Hansen in McBride, Murder Past Midnight, McBride, The Doctor Is Out, Really Out, and McBride, Anybody Here, Murder Marty? Sadly, Dubois passed away on May 8, 2018 from a brain aneurysm. She was 65. Most people will remember Clarence Williams III for his role on The Mod Squad. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Aaron Spelling, who was one of the show's producers, recalled why he decided to hire Williams on the spot. In Spelling's recollection, Williams was driving a getaway car on an anthology series he was producing. Spelling told the outlet, Then Williams drove off and smashed right into a telephone pole. I thought everybody was killed. We all rushed over. I said, Clarence, Clarence, what happened? He said, I've never driven before. I said, why didn't you tell me that? He said, because I wanted the job. I hired him that night for Mod Squad. In addition to his role on The Mod Squad, Williams also appeared in the Hallmark TV series Mystery Woman. In 2021, Clarence Williams III died of colon cancer at the age of 81. Many of the stars who knew and worked with Williams took to social media to pay tribute to the actor. Among them was Lenny Kravitz, who wrote on Twitter, When I was a kid growing up in NYC, Clarence Williams III was a face on TV that I identified with and that inspired me. From The Mod Squad to Purple Rain and Sugar Hill, he always performed with dynamic energy. Rest in power, King. The name Cindy Williams is immediately tied to the long-running sitcom Laverne and Shirley, where she played the part of Shirley Feeney for eight seasons. Shlemiel, Shlemazel, Haas and Beth Incorporated. However, Williams also starred in the Hallmark movies A Dream of Christmas and Strawberry Summer. In early 2023, Williams passed away at the age of 75. Her son Zach and daughter Emily announced their mother's death through a statement to The Hollywood Reporter that read, "...the passing of our kind, hilarious mother, Cindy Williams, has brought us insurmountable sadness that could never truly be expressed. Knowing and loving her has been our joy and privilege. She was one of a kind, beautiful, generous, and possessed a brilliant sense of humor." Many celebrities shared the pain of her loss through social media, even those who didn't get to work with her. One of those celebrities was Jason Alexander, who was best known for playing George on Seinfeld. He tweeted, I did not know Cindy Williams, but boy did I adore her work, especially the wacky, joyful, funny pleasure of watching her Laverne and Shirley days. I pray she had a good life and send my sympathy to those who knew and loved her.